Just how easy is it to launder money in Germany? Hamburg, the country's major port city, is a good place to find out. We start off with the proverbial briefcase full of cash. Our first stop is a bank where, as we know from our research, most funny money arriving in Germany ends up, together with the legitimate kind. Like all German banks, the Hamburger Volksbank has a money laundering reporting officer. So what does the Volksbank do when somebody comes in with a briefcase full of cash? We talk to that person to try to find out what exactly is going on. You can believe me that people who have been active on the market for years, they've developed a fine sense for how someone reacts when they answer questions. Are the replies spontaneous and credible, or do you sense that they just thought something up as an answer? And what happens when someone transfers money electronically for the purpose of laundering it? The bank has software to monitor all transactions and point to anything unusual. An actual case we had some time ago involved a student. We knew his income situation and what drew our attention was repeated account movements for the purchase and sale of cars. And that was unusual for his financial situation. Besides, we could tell they were big, expensive cars he was dealing in from the reference field. They were Mercedes and Audis and so on. Dealing in real estate is another very popular way to launder money in Germany. Often, frontmen are used to obscure the buyer's true identity. Experts are well aware that this method is a favorite with Italian crime syndicates. Ingo Fiedler of the University of Hamburg does research on money laundering. The Italian authorities have been cracking down on the mafia with anti-money laundering campaigns. So organized crime has responded by moving to other countries where it's easier to operate. Germany is geographically close to Italy and a large economic power, so the Italian mafia has been trying to become active in Germany. Gambling arcades are also being used more and more to launder dirty money. Gambling arcades are very well suited to money laundering for the simple reason that they're not as closely regulated. They don't have to worry about the anti-money laundering laws the way other sectors do, where institutions are bound by these laws. So the operator of the arcade can simply over-report his revenues. He can say he took in a million when it was actually 500,000, just by manipulating the machines. The other 500,000 is dirty money, that's money laundering, and it's profitable. The laundered money has to be stashed away in a safe investment. What are the chances of the money launderer getting caught? I think they're well below 100%. It's impossible to do better. Anyone who's out to make these transactions and launder their money is going to put some thought into it. They'll come up with tactics and methods to keep it all under wraps, and we won't be able to find out every single case. Germany's image could suffer if more is not done to combat money laundering. It's still too easy to get away with it. That was our impression. <laughs>